Hi, I'm Dan Emmer, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southwest Indiana. As we've had winter meetings this year, one of the most popular questions has been about soybean seeding rates, especially with concerns about uh, seed germ and how thick or how thin we can be planting soybeans. So the number one thing we need to consider when we're determining seeding rates is what our, we want our final stand to be. Several university studies have shown that as long as we have a final stand of at least 100,000, uh, soybeans can still achieve optimum yields. There's a couple things we need to keep in mind though. One is uh, the soil types that we have on thin, more drought prone soils. We would wanna have a little bit higher population because higher population is gonna close that canopy quicker cons and conserve moisture um, for those plants. So once we've determined what we want our final stand to be, there's two other things that we need to consider. One is what the germ is on those soybeans. Is it tagged at 80%, 85, 90? And that's really easy to find. All you need to do is have the label that came on that bag. The second thing we need to consider is the emergence rate. Emergence rate is a little bit trickier to figure out because there's several factors that can have an impact. And here's where we need to be honest with ourselves. When you go back behind that planter, how many seeds do you see laying on top of the ground or under residue or buried three inches deep? It's going to have a lot to do with the, your planter or drill and how it's set up. But there's also some other factors that we need to consider. There are several things that can reduce the effective germination rate by five to 10%. Those things would include uh, having a drill instead of a planter, going into no-till or heavy residue situations versus going into a clean seed bed, planting early, so mid-April or even in May, when soil temperatures are cool and wet. Remember, soybeans need about 90 to 110 GDUs to emerge. Another factor to consider would be, are you using treated seed or untreated seed? If you're using untreated seed, that's another five to 10% ding. Now that we've got our list established, let's take a look at how we actually calculate that soybean seeding rate. So let's say I've decided I'm going into some very productive soils and I'm worried about lodging, so I don't wanna push seeding rates too high. I wanna go the bare minimum and 100,000 final stand. So I take 100,000, I look at my tag, I say I have a germination rate of 85%. So I've got 85% as my germination rate, and I'm planning on going out and planting in April when soil temperatures are rather cool into a heavy residue or no-till situation. So I'll plan on an emergence rate of, let's say, 85% of those beans that germinate are going to come up. So I'm gonna take this 100,000 final stand, divide by 0.85 germination rate, and divide again by 0.85 for my emergence rate. Calculating all that out, what I finally come up with is 138,000. So I'm gonna try and set my seeding rate to be somewhere in that 138,000 range. For our second example, let's assume you have a no-till drill with seven and a half inch Spacing, uh, no tilling in early May, high residue conditions. Your target is 140,000 plants per acre. Seed tag says you have 90% germ. And with no till, early May, we're gonna figure 80% emergence with that drill. If you take 140,000, divide by 0.9, and then divide by 0.8, you end up with a targeted seeding rate of 194,000 seeds per acre. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact your Pioneer sales representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.